In this video, you will learn more about how airborne imaging spectroscopy measurements are conducted. We were quite lucky. During the development of this MOOC, a large hyperspectral flight campaign, the Averis Next Generation Europe 2021 campaign, with more than 90 planned target sites all over Europe took place, and we can show you brand new footage from this campaign. Okay, fasten your seatbelt and get ready for takeoff. The campaign was organized by ARES, the Airborne Research Facility for the Earth System at the University of Zurich, in collaboration with NASA JPL, on behalf of the European Space Agency, or ESA. It served to provide calibration and validation measurements in preparation for the future ESA satellite mission, Copernicus Hyperspectral Imaging Mission for the Environment, or CHIME, and NASA's Surface Biology and Geology, or SBG satellite mission. Deployed on board is the sensor system Airborne Visible Infrared Imaging Spectrometer Next Generation, or Averis NG, from NASA JPL. Averis NG is a push broom spectral mapping system with a high signal to noise ratio, or SNR, that measures reflected radiance at 5 nanometer intervals in the visible to shortwave infrared spectral range between 380 and 2510 nanometers. The predecessor, Averis, designed by NASA JPL in California, has been a trailblazer for airborne imaging spectroscopy since the late 1980s. Since then, a range of imaging spectrometers have been developed and deployed on airborne platforms, including HiMap, CASI, Apex, and HiSpecs, to name but a few. During the Europe 2021 campaign, flights were carried out from the home base in Switzerland to the target sites in Switzerland, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, the Netherlands, Spain, and the United Kingdom, as well as other countries. The target sites comprise a range of land cover types, such as forests, agricultural lands, and inland and coastal waters. When planning flights, many aspects must be considered, such as weather conditions, flight permissions, and also overpass times of satellite missions, such as Prisma and the Sentinels. The simultaneous recording of satellite and airborne data ensures similar conditions of the Earth's surfaces when they are later jointly analyzed. This is particularly relevant for land cover types that change quickly. It is crucial to do accurate spectroradiometric ground measurements using portable field instruments during the time of the overflight. This enables a vicarious validation and calibration of the airborne data and ensures a high data quality. In the Averis NG Europe 2021 campaign, the ground reference measurements were carried out by the institutions responsible for each target site. Here we are looking at the pilots in the cockpit, who are just preparing to land again at the airfield. Behind the pilot seats are the measuring instruments and storage devices. The spectrometer is installed in a special hatch with a window allowing a nadir view. A GPS is used to precisely measure the position and a so-called inertial measurement unit, or IMU, is used to measure the orientation of each imaging frame during the flight. The orientation is expressed by three angles of platform rotation, namely roll, pitch, and yaw, which are recorded simultaneously with the image data. The pixel resolution of the airborne data depends on the flight altitude and is typically between 2 and 8 meters. In order to cover an area completely, it is therefore often necessary to fly several flight lines. Later, the flight lines are geometrically corrected with the help of the simultaneously recorded position and orientation data, as well as reference control points and mosaic into a complete image. But now, let's get ready for landing. We have just landed, and the aircraft is pushed back into its position in the hangar. You know, it is important that the doors remain open after landing, so that the instruments do not overheat. Afterwards, the data from today's overflight is read out, and the aircraft is prepared for the next flight.